was 14, I really wanted curly hair like that guy in Twisted Sister, so I shaved my head and I thought, really curly thoughts. <laughs> it didn't work, but I did learn to wiggle my ears that summer. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, the short answer to your question would be, yes, I am a U.S. citizen. <laughs> Thank you. Dharma, this is just a routine background check. They don't need to know your whole life story. Come on, Greg. I'm getting grilled by the FBI. I caved. <laughs> Mrs. Montgomery, I'm not grilling you. This is a security clearance that your husband can look at some classified evidence. Oh, you don't have to worry about Greg. He's really good at keeping secrets. Just ask him what we did in his office last week. <laughs> uh, nothing. We didn't do anything. That's good, honey. See? All right, I, I think we're almost done here. Oh, okay, okay, one more thing, because you're going to find out about it eventually, so let me just get it all out. When I was 13, I stole a bra from Sears because my mom wouldn't let me have one. Uh, put me down for that one, too. Shut up! I wrapped it around a telephone pole and practiced unhooking it. Well, now I'm really sure we're done. Um, uh, Mrs. Montgomery, if you could just give me your parents' address. I'd like to ask them a few questions. You're going to do a background check on my parents? Standard procedure. Um, well, here, I'll just write it down for you. It'll be faster. Oops. I'm going to go buy you a new pencil. <laughs> Sorry about this, Abby. Honey, it's not your fault. We always knew this day might come. When you live with a wanted man, every day that he's free is a precious gift. Okay, I found the emergency suitcase. Nixon now? It's camouflage to blend in with the establishment. Oh, honey, I don't think these are gonna fit you anymore. Oh, I'll take them. Those are awesome. Okay. Here are your vitamins. Hey, come on, Abby. I can't haul these things around. I gotta travel light. I'm going underground. Well, let's just move some of these H-backs and make little moves. What am I gonna listen to? Oh, hey, Larry. Cool, look. You can use my disc man. Do you have strawberry alarm clock on CD? <laughs> Larry, nobody does. <laughs> hey, do you have a nice pair of pants and a shirt? What difference does it make? I'm going underground. What if underground? You go out someplace nice. <laughs> Well, sweetie, I may not be seeing you for a while. Larry, I can't help thinking this is all my fault. No, 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 it's not your fault. I'm the one that burned those draft records. I'm the one that crippled the Vietnam War machine. And if living like a hunted animal is the price I have to pay, then so be it. Can't you just go stay with Grandma? Not unless I cut my hair and finish college. you to uh, wear the warm jacket because it gets chilly at night. Okay. Uh, and uh, I brought you a pillow. Well, come on, Abby. Well, what? You want to wake up in the morning with a stiff neck and be cranky? I'm running for my life. I'm supposed to be cranky. Just take it. Okay. Well, I guess this is it. Oh, I got a list of places here that if you want to contact me, you can leave a message. Crazy Dave's Record Shop. That's a Starbucks now, Larry. Then use the others. The Free Clinic on Market Street. That's a Starbucks, too. Okay. I'll contact you. <sighs> Goodbye. Love you. on your back, Larry. Right. Hey, Greg. 
Well, you're not gonna believe what happened to me last night. Does it involve a woman in a bar? <laughs> Will you let me tell the story? Sorry. So I'm at this bar last night, right? <laughs> this woman walks up, right? Really? I'm not getting anywhere with her until I whip out my brand new security clearance card. Next thing you know, she's all over me like a Russian spy. Pete, what if she was a Russian spy? Oh, come on. <laughs> they don't have those anymore, do they? Hey, sweetie. Thurma, what are you doing here? I gotta talk to you. Pete, can you? Oh, sure, sure. You need the office to do a little desktop publishing, huh? You were listening? It's not his fault, honey. You were very vocal. Oh, 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 there's a stapler in my ass. What's going on? What happened to you this morning? Wait, to make a long story short, uh, I basically had to tell my father to go into hiding. Make the story long. <sighs> okay. 30 years ago, my father broke into the draft board office and burned all their records. There's been a warrant after his arrest ever since. Do you want some lunch? Well, well, and, and, and you're just telling me this now? Well, I couldn't tell you until he was safe. Well, what do you think I was going to do? Turn him in? Wouldn't you have to? Well, technically, yes. Aha! Uh -huh. but, but there might be another way out of this. I need to talk to him. Tell me where he is. I can't tell you where he is unless you promise he's not going to get arrested. Well, I can't promise that until you tell me where he is. Then you can't talk to him unless you promise me that. Dharma, come on. Where is he? All I'm going to say is that he went underground where no one will ever find him. Is everything all right, sir? Sure. Fine. Just the usual. Just the regular. What do you mean, the regular? The regular thing you do here, you know, waiting for a bus. Gonna go on a bus. <laughs> so you've been sitting there all morning, waiting for a particular bus. <laughs> it's a special bus, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> My bus. Well, you, uh, you stay warm, buddy, now, all right? You bet. I still got it. <laughs> this is good. What is it? Food. Dharma, if you want to be mad at me, that's fine. But for the record, you're mad at me for something you think I might have done, whereas I'm mad at you for something you actually did do. No. It was something I didn't do, and I didn't do it because if I did do it, you would have done that thing that you claim you might not have done. But we'll never know, will we? Oh, I know. <laughs> Go Come away! In. Hello, you crazy lovebirds. Okay, tough room. I got that information you want. I asked Pete to do a little background check of our own on your father so I could try to help, which is what I said I would have done if you'd given me the opportunity to do it. Says you. <laughs> What'd you find? Nothing. I mean nothing. I know, I was surprised too. You know, saying as it's your father, you know, I thought <laughs> you know, at least we'd find a little, you know. <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. Larry Finkelstein could be president, God help us. Well, this is great news. This can't be right. What about the Sausalito draft board fire? He broke in and burned all their records. He's famous for that. Well, yeah, I checked on that, too. Yeah, it seems there was a little fire at the draft board office back in 68, but the sprinklers put it out. No <laughs> records were damaged. They just had to replace the carpeting. That doesn't make sense. Oh, no, that's fairly typical. You know, it's not the carpeting so much as the padding underneath. You know, when that gets wet, uh, <laughs> like the... Honey, isn't this great? Yeah, uh-huh. Your dad can come home now. Why don't you uh, call your mom and, and tell her the good news? Nah, I think I better break this to in person. That was weird, huh? Yeah. You like weird? <laughs> Getting used to it. That's great. Because you were going to love this little tidbit. It seems the FBI has a little tax problem with your father's wife. You mean my mother? No, I mean your father's wife. <laughs> my mother is my father's wife. That would be true, Mr. Not Catch On Too Quick. <laughs> 
your father and his first wife had ever filed for a divorce. My father had a first... Give me that. <laughs> which also means that your mother and father aren't married. Which furthermore means that that name I called you when we were playing golf last week... <laughs> that's technically accurate. Son of a... No, no, no. The other one. <laughs> oh, my God. God, this is just going to kill your father. I know, I know. But you know what? We're just going to have to remind him of all the other cool anti-establishment things he did. Dharma, the draft board was really his one big thing. Well, what about the time he chained himself to the Redwood? It was a Redwood deck. It was an accident, and we're not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, um... Hey, okay, what about the march on Washington? We didn't make it. Why? Oh, it was my fault. I should have told him. D.C. <laughs> well, there's absolutely got to be something he can feel proud of. Well, uh... Oh, Dharma, we can't tell him about this. <laughs> well, Abby, what, are we just supposed to leave him out there alone? Yes, until we think of something. He can take care of himself. No, he can't. He chained himself to a redwood dash. <laughs> Dad, in here. Hey, I've never seen you use that before. I'm going to see the cardiologist tomorrow. I'm cramming. Fine. Uh, Dad, I need to um, talk to you about your first wife. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I heard. Dad, you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just a little dehydrated. Son, your mother and I were going to tell you about this when you were old enough to understand. I'm 31. What were you waiting for? You're 31. I gotta tell you, this is kind of upsetting. Oh, grow up. You're 31. <laughs> Dad, the divorce was never final. You're still married to that woman. What are you doing? Your mother will go a lot easier on me if I've just had a heart attack. <laughs> You're kidding. How do you chain yourself to a redwood deck? Well, he was practicing for the protest, and he wanted to show everyone how he could hide the key in his mouth. <laughs> Greg, what are we going to do? We're not going to give him another key to the apartment. <laughs> Is there some way you can get your friends in the FBI to make him think he's a criminal? Well, I guess we could... Trump up a big old file full of groovy anti-war crimes, fly to Washington and plant it at the FBI headquarters. Yeah, that's a great idea! Oh. And then Larry can break in, steal the file, and then he'll think that's why no one's after him. Dharma, I, I was making a ludicrous statement to make a point. And a good point, except you know what? We should probably do it here because Larry has a little trouble finding Washington. <laughs> that? Dharma, he's never going to believe this is his FBI file. Oh, he will. He steals it from a fancy government office. Like yours. <laughs> okay, even if I could convince a security guard to leave a door unlocked and turn the alarm off, what person in their right mind would believe that they could erase their entire criminal past by stealing one file? What a lucky break! <laughs> All my records in one file? <laughs> That's the government for you. Morons. <laughs> I, I, I know this must seem really weird to you, letting a guy break in to steal a fake file, but the man's entire identity is wrapped up in being a 60s revolutionary. Like I was telling your friend, for season tickets to the 49ers, I let you guys steal the helicopter off the roof. <laughs> Good to know. Excuse me for a second. Pete, can I speak to you? I don't have season tickets to the 49ers. I'd get some. <laughs> Anything else? I told him your sister looks like Courtney Cox. I don't have a sister. I'd get one. <laughs> okay, so the security alarm in the northwest corner goes on at midnight, so we gotta move fast. Like a puma. So straight down this hallway. That's a beautiful map you made, Dharma. Thank you. Second door on the right, go in, grab the file, and then back out the way we came. 
Check. Larry, what are you doing? Destroying the evidence. No, we need that. Larry, we recycle paper. Not tonight. Tonight, we recycle freedom. Just tell me one more time before I leave. You're a good daughter. Thank you. Just to trap you. No, they don't. Dharma, honey, when you're wanted by the FBI, we'll do it your way. that can stop Larry Finkelstein. Except the one on that redwood deck. Well, good night. Uh, Kitty, uh, a troubling matter has come up. Don't you lose sleep over it, sweet dreams. Uh, Kitty, we've got to talk. Please, sit down. Do you remember that little mistake I made that we never talk about? It's late, Edward. You'll have to be more specific. My first wife? Oh, yes. Well, it seems there's a little uh, problem with the divorce. What sort of problem? We didn't get one. What? Yes, sir. Uh, we had an arrangement. I was to uh, pay for the divorce and she was to file the papers. Apparently, she didn't. Are you telling me that you're still married to this woman? Yes, and I'm going to call Gottlieb in the morning and we'll settle this whole thing. Let, 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 let me understand this. You are married and I am single. I suppose you could look at it that way. Yes, and I suppose you could also look at me as the other woman. I'll call Gottlieb now. Not, not now, Edward. Not now. Lie down. Why? Oh. It's been a long time, Kitty. Don't talk, Edward. That's why we stopped. <laughs> Camera, quick! <sighs> I should never have brought you into this. It's too dangerous. It's not dangerous. I mean, it's very dangerous. <laughs> but I'm with you. Uh-uh. I'll get the file. You go back to the van. Larry, 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 the file's this way! Larry! Larry! Larry? Hi. Thorma, what, what are you doing here? I lost him. How could you lose him? Oh, what can I say? He still has a little puma left in him. Hey, hey, I found him. Oh, no. Uh, no, the Larry. Larry no, Come no. on. Jeez, what's that going to run me? 250 a camera. Listen, we got to wrap this up. I'm going to get in all kinds of trouble. Hey, 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 he's going the right way. Oh, good, Larry. Hey, come on, Larry. Turn around, Larry. Larry. Come on, Larry. You can do it. Come on, Larry. Turn around. <laughs> Okay, good. Yeah. Where is he? All right, come on back out. Is he going to come out? All right. Yeah. Okay, Larry, all you have to do is go back out the way you came in. Larry, 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 Larry. Larry. <laughs> been six, seven guards chasing me, and I think they had dogs. Oh, is that why you jumped into the dumpster? Absolutely. Change my scent. Worked. Boy, they had some file on me. 
I mean, there's things in here that I don't even remember doing. <laughs> oh, oh, and this is good. The FBI misspell bureau. Hey, everybody. Wh where have you been? I've been, I've been calling all night. Hi, Greg. Hey, Greg. Oh, we, uh, we just went on a little um, family outing. Where'd you go? Where did we go? Um, apple picking. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Where are the apples? Oh, uh, the apples. They were too small, so we had to throw them back in. Up. <laughs> On. And you, uh, dressed in black so you could, uh, sneak up on those apples. Yeah, we did Curious George now. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, uh, if you'll, uh, excuse me, I have to go dispose of, uh, some trash. You know, outside. Just get rid of it. Once and for all. Just go. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. So, we're all done with this. Everything's back to normal. Yes. I suppose I should be getting off to bed. Uh, you're welcome to stay, if, if you like. Oh? And I'm going to call Gottlieb in the morning, and we'll get this whole divorce thing straightened out. No. Don't call Gottlieb. <laughs> you must never call Gottlieb. Oh. <laughs> smoking must be Christmas Gregory I'm a wreck I am absolutely a wreck your father has that infernal train set out and your delightful cousin Jennifer is here and then to top it all off the maid seems to have switched to menthol ah. <laughs> mother have you lost weight no Gregory please that won't work no I'm, I'm serious well I maybe I have do I look a little <laughs> Could be. <laughs> come in <laughs> I don't play with trains, Uncle Edward. I'm not five. Suit yourself, little lady. Here we go. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Jennifer, dear, look who's here. Your cousin, Gregory. So, uh, Jennifer, how have you been? Just dandy. <laughs> hey, I got uh, married since I last saw you. Huh. I always thought you were gay. <laughs> <clears throat> well, now, why don't you two just <clears throat> catch up? Oh, and Gregory, so that you don't tread over ground that we've already covered. Uh, school bites, Christmas bites. Oh, and the, and the sugar cookies over there. Bite the big one. <laughs> so I heard your uh, mother got married again. She's on her honeymoon with a rich old guy who's been clinically dead twice. Somebody's got a new daddy. <laughs> my wife. And the one with the antlers. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah! Did I mention she might bring a few friends over? No, I don't believe you did, Gregory. Can we use your Here's a cookie. Merry Christmas. Here's a cookie. Merry Christmas. Here's a... Oh, 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 sir, you dropped your glove. Wouldn't want you to have to come back. <laughs> so were you surprised when we showed up? Not as surprised as my mother. I know. For a while there, I didn't think she was going to let us in. That's because for a while there, she wasn't. <laughs> Thanks for the nog, man. And have a joyous holiday of your choosing, if indeed you choose to celebrate a holiday at all. 
And a happy new year if you people believe in calendars. <laughs> Sure, you don't want to come caroling with us. We're going to be in your neighborhood for a while. Well, that's a lovely invitation, Abby, but I, I don't know any of my neighbors, and I prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry if we muddied up your house. But you did turn the sprinklers on us. <laughs> uh, Dharma, I'd like you to meet my cousin Jennifer. Oh! Hi, I'm Dharma. So, did you marry Greg for his money? <laughs> oh, open hostility. <laughs> You know, if you want to become more sneaky at it, just watch your Aunt Kitty. <laughs> well, Jennifer is staying with us while her mother is honeymooning in Bali for ten wonderful days. Like, this isn't hell on a stick for me. <laughs> oh, isn't she just a charming cauldron of rage and hormones? Oh, come on, Kitty. You remember 16. Yeah. Well hate your hair, you hate your skin, your parents just moved into a solar-powered sod hut, and you can't have friends over because your dad's mowing the roof. You know what, Dharma? You are right. Jennifer should not be stuck here with us. She should be with some happening young people like you and Gregory. Dharma didn't say that. Greg, I think it's a great idea. She'll have so much more fun with us. She didn't say that either. <laughs> Gregory, please, you would be doing me an enormous favor. I do not know what to do with the 16-year-old, and I already have my hands full. What do you mean you have your hands full? <sighs> hey, Kitty, look, I am a giant. <laughs> okay, I know what does not bite. Cheesy movie and dairy-free pizza. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh! I want to go throw this off the roof. I don't think so. Okay. Um, okay. How about prank phone calls? Who do you want to call? The Pope. No, they never put your call through. But I do know someone else who makes you kiss their ring. <laughs> yes, Kitty Montgomery. Yes, this is Alice Penderwald. I've been watching you for quite some time on the golf course. And I think you are a very handsome woman. What's going on? She's pranking your mom. Again, Dharma, she's going to... <laughs> she's going to figure it out. Frank, she can't even figure out Star 69. <laughs> Uh-oh. Two more rings and the machine picks it up. Happy holidays, Penderwald residents. Yes, yeah, sorry about hanging up like that. My husband, Walter, walked into the room. Uh, so, do you want to meet for drinks or just get soapy and go for it? <laughs> Hello? Oh, that was a close one. What if she said yes? What, wait, I withdraw the question. <laughs> I'm just tired. Where's my bedroom? Oh, all right. Come here with me. I'll show you. Mm. <laughs> well, what do you think? Are you kidding me? I'm sleeping here? Well, you Stinky and Nunzio. I'm sleeping with a dog named Stinky? <laughs> yeah, but Nunzio's the one to worry about. <laughs> He begs, don't pull his tail. Whoa! Karma! Jesus. My little cousin's downstairs. Craig, first you won't do it in your parents' bathroom, and then you won't do it in the back of the cab. What's going on? She might hear us. So what? Didn't you ever hear your parents having sex? Are you kidding? I've never seen my father without his shirt on. Craig, she's sound asleep. We don't know that. Well, then let's go check. <gasps> See, she's not listening to us. She's busy. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Who are you? Frank, come on. Hi, I'm Dharma. Sorry to invade your space. We'll just get to know you better over breakfast. No, no. <laughs> breakfast? We have rules in this house. Oh, you're right. What was I thinking? Do you have a condom? Dharma! Well, if they're planning on having intercourse... No they... one is having intercourse in this house. Well, you're right about that. You. 
shoegazer. <laughs> Out. Craig. Here's your uh, jacket. Here's your skateboard. Oh, uh, wait. Can I say something? What? Time's up. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Yeah, really cool. Can, Can I, I see you, you upstairs? upstairs? <laughs> God, I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you just kicked him out like that. Well, it's better than handing him a condom and putting Charday on the stereo. Charday? <laughs> okay, very white. Barry White. Dharma, not everybody likes John Philip Sousa when they're making love. Oh, uh, please. <laughs> the point is, we shouldn't be encouraging them. Greg, if they're going to have sex, don't you think it's better that they have it here? No. They should come up with a plan, sneak out, say they're spending the night at a friend's house. Oh, they should lie. Yes, and if they get away with it, they deserve to have sex. <laughs> that is so sick. No, it's Darwinian. The brightest ones get to breed. This is ridiculous. I'm going downstairs and I'm going to apologize. Apologize for what? Jennifer! 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 The stuff's gone. Oh, man, she's split. All right, you stay here. I'm going to uh, throw some clothes on and go look for her. Uh... I got a condom. <laughs> No, Kitty, I didn't lose Jennifer. I just want a picture of her, you know, for my wallet. Okay, sorry to wake you. Excuse me? Uh, no, I don't know any Alice Penderwald. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> no luck? I looked everywhere. Uh, Stinky and Nunzio couldn't pick up the scent? Oh, they picked up a scent, all right, but only because they rolled in it. Guess who I found in the laundry room? The laundry room? I'm wandering around the city in the middle of the night with Roly Poly and the urinator, and you're <laughs> hiding in the laundry room. Greg, please. <laughs> Jennifer, are you okay? I'm fine. Who hides in the laundry room? What are you, a sock? Are you done? Yeah. Good. Jennifer. You're running away, really upset your fellow community members. Now, how do you feel we should handle this? Who cares how she feels? She has no say in this. Oh, so I suppose when we have children, they'll have no say in how they're raised. Oh, come on, Dharma. Do you ask Stinky and Nunzio how they should be trained? Well, as a matter of fact... No, no let's not get into that. <laughs> Jennifer, can you excuse no, us a minute? she doesn't have to leave if she doesn't want to. No, I want to. Okay, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Dharma, she needs to be punished. Well, Greg, that's exactly what she wants. Then it's her lucky day. Don't you understand? Jennifer gets into trouble because she's starved for attention, and punishment is just negative attention. So true. <laughs> then what kind of attention do you suggest we give her? Well, I was thinking Jane and I are going to go Christmas shopping. As German tourists, of course. Of course. <laughs> We take her along with us. Wait, because she stayed out all night, she gets to go shopping? No, Greg, because she gets to go shopping, she won't feel the need to stay out all night. So what's the verdict? Dawn is taking you shopping as a German tourist, and let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> oh, like in Starken Sweater? Das ist nice and poof and sweater. Ja, sind warm and poof and sweater, so a for a freeze and hooters. <laughs> These are very expensive. May I help you? Yeah, may I help you? Do you need some help? Yeah, yeah, planet Hollywood. Party every night. <laughs> out of town. <laughs> I'm very busy. Are they shopping? Eh, kosten Puffenswetter. They want to know how much the sweater costs. It's $78. 78 dollars. Seventy-eight dollars. 
Well, the sale table is over there. Cheapen sweaters here's in. Cheapen sweaters suck and muchin. They don't like them. I got that. Uh, uh, please, please. Um, is that polar bears are my lunch? I'm sorry. Polar bears? Polar. Polar. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Polar? Give me this. Um, can ich dir helfen? Fräulein Poopin Mountain. <laughs> we gonna make heat big and stick it with the Überwasser. <laughs> oh, Danke. Happy birthday to your head. Yeah. Man, you guys are nuts. <laughs> oh, this is nothing. You should see Siamese twins who share a brain. Hey, that's my idea. Oh, it's my idea. <laughs> hey, I know what we should do. Let's go to Cinnabon as Siamese triplets. <laughs> right on. Wait a minute. What's this? Nothing. Did you steal this? Now, what do you want? Steal this poopin' sweater, this kinderbraten. What? Schmack, 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 this little Wiener schnitt. <laughs> Excuse me, I have other customers. Jennifer Teldenstein. Hey, look, I'm sorry, and I feel really bad about this, but they stole this sweater. Nine, 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 nine. They stole nine sweaters. Nine. Does anyone here speak German? Yes, I do. Uh, please ask them what's wrong. Ich heiße Martha. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? Gibt es ein Problem? Suchen Sie etwas? Barfignugel? I don't get what the big deal is. The big deal is Jane and I had to sit in that security office and convince them that we were escaped mental patients. <laughs> Stupid German. Uh, 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 stealing is way worse than faking German. Now scrub. Hey, what's going on? Oh, your cousin stole a sweater from the mall. What? Don't worry, I'm punishing her. By scrubbing the floor, it's a little Cinderella, don't you think? Yeah, that's where I got it. <laughs> and after she's done with that, she's gonna sew me a ball gown, aren't you? Thurman, can I speak to you in the hallway? First of all, I'm glad you've realized the importance of discipline. Thank you, but... But you don't pick punishments out of fairy tales. She, Greg, it's not like I locked her in a tower and made some guy climb up her hair. <laughs> Dharma, think back. How did your parents punish you? Well, one time I got sent to bed without meditating, but that's just because I threw a piece of plastic on a compost heap. <laughs> Well, you clearly had that coming. <laughs> so why don't we just ground her? I'd love to, but how do we do that? Easy. You just tell her she can't leave the apartment. How will that make her more grounded? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, follow me on I'm this. right behind you. <laughs> Jennifer, you're grounded. Gee, Greg, if it was that easy, everybody would be grounded. <laughs> no phone, no TV, no friends. You're not to leave this house. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Hey, where are you going? Look, tell my mother I shoplifted. Tell my Aunt Kitty. I don't care. I'm out of here. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. You are going to get grounded. <laughs> right? Close enough. What are you going to do? Watch me all night? Everything okay down here? Yeah. It's really late. You uh, want me to take over? Nah. 
Got my second wind. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I ask why you're sitting there? Because Jennifer said there's never anything good on TV. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I wanted to leave, you couldn't stop me. Oh, I'd bust you open like a can of those refrigerator biscuit things. <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna go to sleep. Good. I'm glad you finally came to your senses. I'll go get you a blanket. Thanks. Don't even think about it. <laughs> either a bird or the guy upstairs who thinks he's a bird. <laughs> either way, it's dawn. What are you doing? I must greet the dawn. Hello, dawn. <laughs> you are such a freak. And you are the shoemaster general. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Doing what? This. I mean, you don't even know me. Why do you care what I do? I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. <laughs> I will tell you why. What was the question again? Oh, wait. No, I remember. Okay. I care what you do because people should care what other people do. Well, people don't. Well, I don't care what other people do. <laughs> but you just said that people Okay, you know what? I haven't slept since I've met you, so just give me a break, okay? <laughs> okay, well, thanks for caring. Can I go now? Who's stopping you? You are so <laughs> weird. Where are you gonna go? I don't know, get some breakfast. You want to come? <gasps> yeah, you know what? <laughs> Actually, I could go for some pancakes. How about German pancakes? Oh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is it my turn? Hold your horses. I made natural ornaments for everyone this year. Oh, that's ridiculous. You don't put pine cones on a tree. Bagelstein, for the last time, keep your mitts off of my caboose. You said next time through the tunnel, I get to go. Hey, 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 what's going on over here? He won't let me drive the train. You're not going to drive my train until you take a urine test. <laughs> you two share, or the train's going back in the box, and you'll never see it again. Stupid, see? Hello? Oh, Kitty, it's for you. It's uh, Alice Penderwald. Oh, um, well, I'll uh, take that upstairs. <laughs> it's Jane. My idea. Very good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> now fork over the spiked eggnog. Sweet, it is I, Emilio. Well, I don't have much time. My husband will be home any minute. Never fear, my sweet flower. <laughs> a minute is all I will need. Great. Then you are a big disappointment, Emilio. <laughs> I'll be right back. Where are you going? Oh, I'm 
going to go down to Chinatown and get some of those big black squiggly mushrooms. Can I use your car? Honey, I told you, it's our car. You don't have to ask every time you want to use it. Mm, great. Oh, uh, just one thing. Uh, last time you used the car, you uh, reset the trip odometer. Yeah, did you know that the long and winding road is 6.7 miles long? No. And the highway to hell is exactly a half a mile shorter. Isn't that weird? It's just that I was uh, using the trip odometer to calculate gas mileage. Cool. Oh, and remember to set the parking brake. The transmission's not a kickstand. No, it's not. Are you going to get any of those uh, spicy little Chinese crackers? You want some? No, it's just uh, last time you opened them in the car and the crumbs worked their way into the seat crevice. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, if you need it, there's a little dust buster in the trunk. It uh, plugs right into the cigarette lighter. Check. Oh, and, and, and when you're done, uh, just uh, put it back in the trunk organizer between the, uh, the flares and the spare washer fluid. Honey, mm -hmm. I love you, but bite me. <laughs> Hey, look at this one. Dual airbags, anti-lock brakes, good mileage. It's got everything. Cool, let's get it. Uh, slow down, slow down. Do you, do you like the color? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to cover it with glitter anyway. <laughs> so, you looking to buy a car today? <laughs> Maybe. What's the price? Honey, the price is right here. Dharma, Dharma. <laughs> Let me do this. Here's what I'm willing to pay for the car. Boy, oh boy. I can't even show this to my manager. <laughs> well, that's all we can afford. Geez, Greg, you make it sound like we're poor. Dharma. All right. Since your wife is such a lovely lady, let's see what I can do. <laughs> okay, right now he's pretending to talk to his manager. When he comes back out, he'll pretend to be upset and give us a lower price. We say no thanks and we pretend to leave. He stops us, offers us an even better price, but of course we won't take it. I'm confused. Are we still buying a car? <laughs> All right. I talked with my manager. He's not happy about this. But I think you will be. Folks, we are not making a penny on this car. No deal. Hey, Dharma, that's pretty good. No, I can't let you do a deal where you don't make any money. <laughs> I just wouldn't know. That wouldn't be right. Look, look, you know, I, 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 mean, I am making some money on it. <laughs> you weren't making any money you were lying it's okay because we knew he was lying you knew he was lying and you didn't do anything about it well no do you think that helps him you don't, let's, folks i got no i'm sorry i don't mean to pry but were you raised with any particular religious tradition presbyterian okay well i don't know all the details about that but i mean there's rules there about lying right yeah how does that make you feel? I'm sorry. I, I don't want to lie. I, I, I want to be an honest person, but ma'am, I've got kids to feed. Do you really? No. It'll be okay. Abby, I can't believe you're making meat. I know. Well, your in-laws are coming to dinner for the first time, and I want it to be special. I'm sorry, Sister Cow. <laughs> hey, Greg, your old man still got that bad back? Yeah, why? I found my ergonomic chair. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. There's nothing my dad loves more than experimental furniture. Oh, man. What is that smell? Standing rib roast. Of meat? Yes, of meat. We're gonna have meat? <laughs> Montgomery's are gonna have meat. We're gonna have squash and walnut loaf. Your favorite. My favorite. Sit next to me, I'll hook you up. <laughs> Blessed Mother Earth, from whom this bounty comes, we thank you. Amen. Amen. We dedicate this evening's meal to the freedom-loving people of Burma. Suffocating under the illegitimate chokehold of oppression. Amen. Amen. And to our bovine friend, 
whose noble sacrifice nourishes our guests, we ask your forgiveness. Oh, dear God. We ask your strength. To sustain us in these interesting times. Amen. 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 Abby. Yes. This rib roast is just the way I like it. Rare enough to hear it move. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Mm. So, uh, did uh, Dharma tell you we went car shopping today? Why do you need a second car? Well, we don't really. I keep telling her she can always use my car. Our car. Hey, Larry, what's the name of your friend who's a dealer? He's in jail. The car dealer. Same guy. Abby, what is this unusual condiment? Oh, it's chutney. Hmm. She pickles her own. Hmm. How delightful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have a canning circle this Friday, and you're welcome to come if you like. I could show you how to make your own. I'll drive you. <laughs> Edward, dear, surely you recall that we're busy on Friday night. Uh, my art foundation is hosting the opening of the Salazar installation. Salazar? Mm -hmm. Abby? <sighs> yeah. Can you use to date that guy? Oh, I'm sure this is a different person. This is Salazar, the artist. No, the same guy. We have one of his sculptures out in the backyard. You have a Salazar in the backyard? Mm-hmm. Mm, do you want to see it? I, I yeah, would, sure. I would, I would be fast. I sure you do. Come on. Come on, see it, Kitty. Just watch where you step. The goat hasn't been feeling well. <laughs> oh, Finkelstein. She keeps a souvenir of the old boyfriend, huh? Hey, Dad, have you tried the cabbage chips? I'm talking to your father-in-law. I know, and I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> it's okay. I'm cool that Abby's been with other men. It's not like I didn't have my wild days, too. Yeah, you dated Mama Cass, right? Sort of. I drove her home from the Fillmore one night when she passed out. Oh, Finkelstein, if you're so all fired cool about this Salazar guy, why don't you come on down to the opening? Sure, fine. I will. It's a charity event. You'll have to pay $100 a person. No problem. I'll just have to dip into my cash stash. If everyone would turn around, please. <laughs> oh, man. Where did I... The peanut butter jar. Right. Excuse me? Oh. The empty one. <laughs> What do you mean, your new ride? Me and Larry and Jane went to the city auction, and we made a killer deal. Which one is it? The one right in front of the building. Behind the big yellow school bus? No. <laughs> in front of the big yellow school bus? Nope. <laughs> Please tell me your car is under the big yellow school bus? <laughs> seats 24 adults or 38 sixth graders. This was your father's idea, wasn't it? No, actually, he thought it was a little impractical. Dharma, Larry thought it was impractical. Doesn't that tell you something? Uh-huh. He's jealous. <laughs> hey, come on, let's go for a ride. All right. You bought a school bus. Get over it. All right, you ready, Jane? We gotta back this thing up. I'm on it. Uh, Dharma. Oh! Yeah, work! <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, good or wow, I have something hanging out of my nose. <laughs> wow, good. 
go. We gotta gas up the bus. Dharma, we can't take the bus to an art opening. Oh, come on, Greg. Picture the look on your mother's face when we come rolling up in Old Yeller. <laughs> That's a great face. <laughs> it's not the Hey Mom, I Married Dharma face, but it's right up there. Shh. Would you like me to park this for you, ma'am? Uh, that depends. Do you know how to find reverse in a 68 blooper? Probably. Well, probably doesn't park the bus, son. <laughs> Salazar, I'm, I'm such an admirer of yours. You know, we bid on inverted cone number three at the at the Christie's auction. We didn't get it, but... No, wait, wait, wait um, excuse me. Oh. Abigail? Yes. Abigail O'Neill? Yeah. Oh, Sally! Oh, hi! Hey. God, look at you. You're just as beautiful as ever. Oh, come on. Oh, well, look at you, Mr. Big World Famous Artist. I know. We remember you when you were nothing. <laughs> Who are you? You remember Larry? Larry? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the transvestite. <laughs> that was just for the draft board. Uh -huh. Salazar, darling, I see you have met my family. <laughs> your, your family? <laughs> yeah, silly. <laughs> Our children are married. In fact, we had dinner at their home the other evening, and uh, they showed me this exquisite piece of yours. Yeah, upright cone number two. Remember? I use it as a hose caddy. <laughs> I, uh, I, I gave it to Abby for our, uh, our engagement present. Yeah. Hello, you were engaged? Yeah, yeah, we, well, we were very young. We didn't know what it meant. I knew what it meant. Anyway, you are a very lucky man to be married to Abby. Oh, they're not married. As good as married. <laughs> Well, then, I mean, there is still hope, right? Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Abby, I want to show you the new piece. Come on. This is a really big cone. Walk this way. Oh, Lord. How could she have let a man like that get away? <laughs> oh, well, oops. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> you gotta admit, you can't do that in a sob. You also, uh... Can't do it in North Carolina. Are you happy I bought it now? Come on, Dharma. I admit it's been a lot of fun, but it's not really a practical second car. Practical? Honey, did you forget who you married? <laughs> okay, how about this? How about we get a sport utility vehicle or a, a small RV in a really weird color? Anything but a bus. You, you don't understand. Okay, listen. When I was growing up, I was homeschooled. And every day that bus drove by filled with kids laughing and screaming, and I never got to go on the bus. Dharma, by that logic, we should live in a schoolhouse. That's a great idea. <laughs> no, because then we could have assemblies and school plays. I'd like a Brandy Alexander. What kind of a girly drink is that? <laughs> You're right. Make it a slow gin fizz. <laughs> so, you still cool about the ex-boyfriend, Finkelstein? No, I'm not. You happy? I'm actually very upset about it. Oh, well, uh, buck up, soldier. <laughs> buck up, soldier. Buck up, conscientious objector. <laughs> I mean, how can I compete against a guy like Salazar? He's a genius. Genius. The guy's a big phony. And you, you have a lot to offer a woman. Like what? Well, you've got... <laughs> you own that house, right? It's in Abby's name. Oh. Another candy-ass drink for my friend. <laughs> I want to alert you all to a, to a small problem. As you, as you do know, it is raining. <laughs> uh, and it seems that the rain is gathering inside inverted cone number eight, um, which is acting effectively as a funnel, um, 
causing a minor flooding condition in, in the parking area. Oh. What are you saying? That our cars are underwater? Actually, I'm trying very hard not to say that. <laughs> um, no, 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 calm down. Please, calm down. There is no need to be concerned. Although it has been suggested that we evacuate the building as it is about to be swept out to sea. So. It's miles to the main road. How are we supposed to get out of here? Fuss. Come on, everybody. Old Yeller will save us. Come on. Abby? Abby? Right here. Where were you? I was looking everywhere. Oh, I was trying to convince Salazar to get on the bus, but he wants to go down with this cone. Genius. All right, is everybody in the bus? Yes, everyone's on. Does everybody have their buddy? Excuse me, do the words wall of water mean anything to you? All right, everybody, here we go. Hang on. We're not going to make it. Mr. Negative, would you pipe down? <laughs> All right, everybody. If Old Yeller's going to get out of the mud, he's going to need your help. So I need you to focus all of your positive energy and sing. The wheels on the bus go round and round. I can't hear you. Round and round. Oh, for God's sake, people. Round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. is cracked. There's nothing we can do. There's gotta be, Greg. There's gotta be something. He saved us all. The other saved us all. I know. I know. And right now, the kindest thing we can do for him is to let him go. <laughs> Honey, what? do you want to get a new bus? You're right. And let's always remember that. Hey. hey! What's going on? You're here! Jane and I went back to the auction. Oh, no. Check it out. I see a fire truck, a, an ambulance, a street sweeper, and a cherry picker. You gotta guess. <laughs> What about figure skating is how you can spin that much and not vomit. Well, they vomit before they go out there. That's how they fit in the costumes. Oh, Ooh. that had to hurt. And judging by the look on her mother's face, she's going to take quite a beating for it. And now, the Olympic snacks begin the final leg of their journey from the Greek place downstairs. <laughs> Two in paper bags, the official food transport device of the Winter Olympics. <laughs> and now, she's giving her husband a kiss, the official sign of affection of the Winter Olympics. Well, you look at that lip action, Jane. They make it seem so simple, Pete. That's the hours of practice, Jane. I'm starting to feel a little creepy about watching them, Pete. And you're alone on that one, Jane. <laughs> The Canadian skaters got her skirt caught in her braces, and, and Pete cried during the phone commercial. 
excuse me for having a pulse. Hello? Oh, look, it's the official father-in-law of the Witcher Olympics. Uh, Dharma, the Olympics go on for two more weeks. You might want to pace yourself. Uh, Dad, what are you doing here? It's terrible. Just terrible. What's terrible? Read this. The American Association of Retired Persons congratulates Kitty Montgomery on her 50th birthday and invites her to join the millions of seniors still leading vital, productive lives. Uh, all right, uh, Dharma, uh, my father lives with us now. Your mother is having a birthday and he didn't say anything about it? Well, because technically my mother doesn't have a birthday and it was very, very wrong of these people to accuse her of having one. She shouldn't be upset about this. Someone should reassure her that she's entering the best time of her life. I tried lying. She doesn't buy it. <laughs> well, I'm going to go talk to no, her. No, no, no. Don't, don't do that. Craig, someone has to reassure her that she's entering the age of wisdom, an age when the woman becomes a revered elder of the tribe, no longer looked at as a sexual object. Oh, good. Start with that. <laughs> Mrs. Montgomery, there are some people here to wish you happy birthday. Should I call the police? <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, dear God, that's... Kitty Montgomery, we're here to welcome you to the three stages of womanhood. We enter the world unsteady, unsure, innocent lambs, chaste and pure. <laughs> The years pile on like precious coins. We give birth to children, the fruit of our loins. <laughs> we menstruate no more, our children are grown. Welcome, dear kitty, to the life of a crow. <laughs> Get out of my house! <laughs> about it kitty come on you get a sweet 16 mm -hmm. you have a wedding so why not celebrate this passage into the final years of your life yeah because otherwise the next big party you're gonna get is a funeral <laughs> and you know we'll have more fun at that than you would i mean well not fun <laughs> but you know we'll get to eat and drink and we're not you know dead <laughs> what we're trying to say kitty is that you really need to commemorate this birthday oh i plan to okay tonight i'm getting thoroughly soused and tomorrow i'm getting plastic surgery <laughs> what you how can you alter your body it's god's temple is it with milton shapiro God's plastic surgeon. So, let me show you girls out. Kitty, Kitty, I know we don't often see eye to eye, but even so, we're sisters. Splendid. Then our children are cousins, and the marriage is annulled, and out you go. No, 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 oh. no. I won't let you do this, Kitty. You've, you've earned your wrinkles and your sagging breasts. They're badges of honor. <laughs> let me. <laughs> Kitty, don't do this. Because you are so beautiful, just the way you are. Although you can't go wrong with big boobs. Guys love big boobs. Jane! The bigger the better. Jane! And while you're at it, maybe get your butt done, too. You think so? Let's see, drop your slacks. We'll do the pencil test. Jane! <laughs> Dharma, Abby, you... <laughs> Believe me, I, I, I appreciate your coming and what you're trying to do. But what I really need now is just to be alone. You understand. Look, how about this? Kitty, give us one hour. If we haven't changed your mind by then, we'll drive you to the surgeon ourselves. No. Well, would you rather we follow you to the hospital, stage a protest, and let everyone in San Francisco know you're having your butt talked? <laughs> one hour. Yeah! All right. Okay, so now let's all get to know each other better as women. All right. Kitty, which of the three kinds of orgasms do you most often have? <laughs> Oh, you better be making this up. You're right. It's a touching commercial. A young boy calling his father to come home and play catch with him. You can see why they are the official long-distance carrier of the Winter Olympics. <laughs> I don't want to cry about a commercial, cry about the guy stuck in Japan with nothing but his American Express card. <laughs> hey, Larry, what are you doing here? 
Well, Abby was supposed to cook lunch for me, and she's not home. Yeah, so? I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, come in. We got uh, hummus and uh, stuffed grape leaves, the official stuffed leaf of the Winter Olympics. Righteous. <laughs> hey, Larry. Hey, guys. Hey, fellas. Who do we like in the woman's giant downhill slalom? Biggest, fattest one. <laughs> uh, I don't believe in the Olympics. Of course you don't, Finkelstein. No need to explain. <laughs> the so-called Olympics... Oh, Judas. <laughs> ...are nothing but a profit-making scheme perpetrated by the military-industrial complex to inflame mindless nationalistic fervor. That's a bunch of hooey. <laughs> hey, look at that. Our hockey team has knocked the crap out of Ecuador. <laughs> How do you keep this list? <laughs> Under no circumstances am I going to do that. Okay, fine. Well, we can look inside ourselves without literally looking inside ourselves. Okay. Let's everyone go around the circle and each say what you love about yourself. Jane, you go first. Okay. I really love my peaches, and I'm fully capable of shaking my own tree. Yeah. I hope that yeah. doesn't mean what I think it does. It means that I can make... Never mind. Okay, I'll be Okay. Um, well, I also really love my peaches. <laughs> and, uh, well, especially since this is the first time in about 600 years that I've reincarnated as a woman. What does that yeah. mean? <laughs> well, that usually I've had a penis. <laughs> All right, could we just move this along? I'm sobering up. Okay. Um, okay. I really love that I'm not afraid to try new things. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, like the other night when Greg and I were in bed. Um, well, actually, I was in bed. He was half on the bed, half on the dresser. Would you mind, Donna? I'm his mother, you know. Well, then you should be very proud. <laughs> okay, Kitty, you're next. Um... I love that I'm rich. No, okay, it's got to be something about yourself, about who you are as a person. I love that I'm a rich person. <laughs> Kitty, you know, all this wealth could be gone tomorrow. Oh, no, it can't, because we never touch the principal. <laughs> never, never, never. Kitty, no, something from your heart. Something about right. who you are. Well, I love that I'm a people person. <laughs> should have looked at her cervix. <laughs> you know, as a good skater, Stinky, Sonia Henny. You want a skater? James Kahn and Rollerball? Oh. <laughs> they were throwing crap at him and stuff. I mean, that's skating. You throw crap at these kids, they couldn't handle it. <laughs> now, I'll tell you who was a real skater. Goofy. <laughs> Did you ever see Disney on ice? Big head, big feet, didn't slow him down at all. Put a big head on one of these kids, forget about it. Hey, hey, Olympic flame. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two, three. Two, three. <laughs> Man, they show that flame a lot. Hey, it's your drinking game. You know, that flame's been burning since ancient Greece. There's nothing like a grease fire. <laughs> something I'd pay to see. Disney on fire? <laughs> oh, no, more bobsledding. Oh, lame. Flame, flame. No, 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 lame, 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 not flame. Flame. <laughs> well, you look at that. That's not a real sport. That's just two guys jumping in something that's going to the finish line with them or without them. <laughs> that's just hitchhiking. You know, I used to hitchhike. Took me four days to hitchhike from Saginaw. <laughs> Wasn't that Paul Simon? Huh? I thought it was me. <laughs> flame, oh, flame! One, on. two, three! Oh. I mean, I could do that. Hitchhike? Bobsled. I mean, anybody could do that. You couldn't do that. You could do that. I could do that. You know, we could all do that. Let's do that. What, what are we going to do? Like fly to Tahoe, rent a bobsled, and go down a mountain in the middle of the night? Good plan. <laughs> Kitty. 
Kitty, come on out. We're so sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're a people person, Kitty, with, with people that you actually regard as people. <laughs> Your hour is up. Go away. Are you still going to have plastic surgery? Pulled, nipped, sucked, and tucked. Kitty, you're an intelligent woman. I don't see how looks can be so important to you. Simple. The world that I grew up in, a woman advanced based on her looks and her courtesy. And frankly, I'm not that courteous. Kitty! <laughs> Kitty, but you look absolutely wonderful. I wish I looked that good, and I'm not even 50 yet. You're younger than I am? Just a little, a smidge. I'm older than the crown. <laughs> okay, what we have here is a big old honking train wreck. We gotta make her feel better about herself as quickly as possible. Jane, what makes a girl feel special? Wearing thong underwear backwards. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Wig night at the officer's club. Oh, hi. What's wig night at the officer's club? Oh, just a little something Jane and I used to do whenever we got dumped. We put on wigs and have Top Gun hard bodies buy us drinks. Emma, that's a horrible artificial way of boosting your self-esteem. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> The next flight back's not for another hour, so uh, we might as well get another round here. What made us think we could do that? We were drunk. We were stupid. You're all a bunch of quitters. Hey, I'm not a quitter. It's not your fault, son. It's the way you were raised. You never had to suffer the hard times like I did. I thought you were born rich. Not as rich as he was born. <laughs> Flame! Oh, Flame, one, two, three. Excuse me, how do you know how I was raised? You were never around. You weren't around? Where were you? Working with the other fathers. Where were you? Kicking down the cobblestones and feeling groovy. <laughs> Unless that was Paul Simon, too. Admit it. Work was always more important to you. Oh, quit your belly aching. You had everything you wanted. You went to the best schools. You had a pony. Or a big dog or something. You see, you weren't there. Okay. You said we never did anything together. Well, let's do something together right now. Let's find a bobsled and go down that damn mountain. Well, I don't want to do a suicidal thing. I, I want to... I want to play catch like the kid in the commercial. You see, it's a touching commercial. <laughs> I want a bobsled. Oh, come on, guys, be realistic. Where are we going to find a bobsled in the middle of the night? What are we supposed to do? Go down to the lake, steal a canoe, and slide down the mountain in that? Good, good plan. plan. All right. Oh. <laughs> it's not a good plan. <laughs> I changed my mind. I can't do this. I, I, I can't, but, uh, Maybe Kitty Montgomery can't, but Wanda Boonshaft can. Oh, please, I'm not Wanda Boonshaft. Well, well, wait a minute. How old is she? Doesn't matter. Wanda doesn't care. Yes, she's filled with self-confidence. And burning with sexuality. Sounds 42. <laughs> Fine, she's 42. All right, good, good. I'm on the boom shaft at 42. Uh, what do I drink? Oh, I know, wine coolers. <laughs> and um, she'd sleep with anything, right? I'm all. <laughs> we better stay close to her. <laughs> This 
looks pretty good. You think we can stop it before we hit the lake? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a canoe. <laughs> Shotgun! All right, let's go! Now, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it now. Exactly. How are, how are we going to steer this thing? What's the matter, Dad? You want to quit? No, no, no. I, I was just thinking before we do this, we should take a vote to see if we really want to do this thing. What kind of vote? Simple majority, two-thirds, unanimous? You can't just vote. Oh, shut up, Finkelstein. <laughs> hey, don't get angry at me because you didn't play catch with Junior. Craig, listen to me. You're right, I was never around when you were a kid. But killing ourselves now is not going to make that any better. So what you're saying is you want to quit. Fine. I want to quit. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Okay, first give me a hug. What? Why? Because you never hug me, and in the commercial, the kid gets a hug. Give him a hug. I'm sitting in a metal canoe. My boys are freezing. <laughs> I love you, Dad. That's it. I'm switching my long-distance carrier. <laughs> there you go. I think you both deserve a hug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, go! I call shotgun. <laughs> oh, oh. Can I buy you a drink, Wanda? Fine, just put your quarter on the bar and wait in line. <laughs> anyway, after my third divorce, I just swore off army guys. Besides, nothing looks as good on a girl as Navy. Yeah! <laughs> Derma, I thought was a horrible idea, but I must admit, I've never seen her look happier. Yep. Shallow problems require a shallow solution. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Can I buy you a drink? Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but drinking with sailors is what got me in my current condition. You know what? Maybe you can help me find his papa. He was about your height. He had brown hair. Wait a minute. Drop your pants and sing Lay Down Sally. So where are you from, Wendy? I'm not ashamed to say the poor side of town. Where exactly would that be? I don't really know, but it's gritty and people yell out the windows. It must be very difficult to be a Navy pilot. How do you make the boats fly? <laughs> So, what do you think of the officers' club, ma'am? Oh, it's terribly exciting being around all these military men. <laughs> Listen, if you ever come to your senses and want to go AWOL, take this number. I've got friends who can get you to Canada. <laughs> Here, take them all and give them to your platoon. <laughs> oh, 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 I get it. Seaman, submarine. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Very clever. Oh, Wanda, you're so great. You know, you remind me so much of my mother. What? I said, sing, lay down, Sally. I want to get out of here. Now, what happened? You were having so much fun. Oh, that sailor over there said I reminded him of his mother. That one? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Hey, you. Come here. Don't. Don't. Yes, ma'am. Son, how old is your mama? Uh, 38. Excuse me. <laughs> well, she just turned 38. I love you. <laughs> I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. Okay, okay, it's time to go now. Well, Belinda, Eunice, we're out of here. <laughs> he said I looked 38. Get to you! With a nip and a tuck, I could look 28. Hi, honey. Hi. Where you been? Uh, me and the guys uh, flew to Tahoe and went down the mountain backwards in a canoe. Oh, good for you. <laughs> what about you? Eh, we put your mom in a black wig and took her down to the Navy base to party with a bunch of drunk sailors. Good for her. <laughs> what you watching? 
two man luge. Doesn't look that hard. We could do that. We could definitely do that. Okay, here's a few pointers. A shuttle to Tahoe leaves on the hour. Drink heavily, face forward, and no matter what you might think, a canoe is not just as good. <laughs> daughter-in-law and we're being pleasant and we're talking to ourselves. I brought you back your pasta maker. Oh, thank you, Dama. Thank you. Didn't know I borrowed it, did you? No, no, I didn't. Didn't know you even had one, did you? Well, you, you got me again. I bet you thought a pasta maker was a person, huh? Would you please? Oh, my God. What? You and Edward split up? Why on earth would you think that? Well, it's obvious, Kitty. Edward's favorite chair, no butt indentation. His pipe hasn't been smoked in three days. In the newspaper, no one solved the jumble. Fascinating, Sherlock. However, the chair is new. It arrived this morning. The pipe is not Edward's. Thomas Jefferson, we bought it at auction, hasn't been smoked in 200 years. And as for the jumbo, Edward never solves it. He just laughs at the little cartoon. <laughs> I'm not usually wrong about this stuff. That's the last of the shirts. If you need anything, I'll be at my apartment. Thomas Jefferson? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. And I assure you, Dharma, there is there is no reason to be upset. And it's it's not so much, you see, a a separation as it is a cooling off period. Wow. Really? How cold do you want it? Because um <laughs> <laughs> forgot my pants. Dom, dear, I, I appreciate your concern, but I'd really rather not talk about this well, just now. Well, that's what you say on the outside, but on the inside, there's a wounded little girl crying out, Help me, Dharma, help me. Well, you found me out. <laughs> now, as, as for Gregory, Do you I, want me to tell him? No, I'd rather you not tell him. Oh, I can't do that. That would be lying. No, that would be failing to make conversation. <laughs> well, what if he asks how you guys are doing? Then you lie. Kitty, I cannot lie to Greg. I've never lied to Greg. Never? Um, oh, well, yeah, once I... I told him I had a big O when really I had a little O, but he was working so hard. That's enough. Well, yeah, sometimes that is enough, but you've got to admit, that big O is worth chasing. <laughs> well, that's the last of the pants. Dumb, have I ever asked a favor of you? Well, you offered me 30 grand to dump Greg. No, that wasn't a favor. That, that was a test. And, and you passed with, with flying colors. Uh, my marriage to, to Mr. Montgomery is in a very delicate stage, and I would like to have the opportunity to, to work things out before I bring it to Gregory. Okay. My lips are sealed. opening argument? You, you can't say this to the jury. Why not? Pete, it, it rhymes. The whole damn thing rhymes. <laughs> it's the only way I can remember it. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I was born in a small town in Missouri. It... It's not even true. You try rhyming Michigan. <clears throat> hey. Hey, 
guys. Did you uh, return the pasta maker to my mother? Uh-huh. Yeah, I did. How is she? How'd I know? <laughs> you, you were just there. Yeah, I know that, Greg. I just admitted that. I'm not a liar, okay? <laughs> okay. You know what's been bothering her, don't How you? How many times do I have to beat you over the head with this? I do not know anything about your mother. <laughs> Fish again. <laughs> I, I, ju I just think she's upset because we keep canceling dinner on them. And mm, yeah, that's it. So maybe we can go over there tomorrow and have a quick lunch. No, we can't. Why not? Uh, because. Greg. <laughs> I made plans to have lunch with uh, Jane already tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Because Jane was just here complaining that she had to do the rest of her community service tomorrow. It's not that Jane. Jane Seymour. <laughs> Medicine woman. Wait a minute, you know Jane Seymour? Darn tootin' I do. <laughs> Dr. Quinn, Michigan. It's... How do you know Jane Seymour? I trained her dog. That's how I know. That's what I did. I, tra I trained her dog. That's what I did. What kind of dog does she have? Wait, I'm not on trial here. I'm not in one of your criminals in your court. What are you trying to do to me? God, I can't live like this. <laughs> What do you think that was all about? Some kind of woman thing? I don't know. I've never had a relationship last 28 days. Yes? Mammogram! What? Doesn't that sound like something that should be delivered? So I figured if we just ate something together, you know, like, I don't know, this turkey sandwich, then I wouldn't really have lied. I see. Did, uh, did you happen to notice the name of the guard who let you in? <laughs> Jeff! Jeff! Yeah, God, he was so nice. Jeff. Yeah. Jeff. <laughs> So what do you say, huh? I know I seem like a big old freakazoid here, but <laughs> it would just mean so much to me. At the risk of driving even further around the bend, my dear, this turkey sandwich... With sprouts. Quite right. <laughs> but it's not going to undo the lie you told your husband. Yeah, uh -huh, we'll do if you eat it. <laughs> Come on, I drove five and a half hours. Just take a little bite. <laughs> I, I, I have a fruit salad over here. How about if I took a bite of this? Uh, great. Oh, wait, hang on! <laughs> Would it kill you to smile? You tell me. Where have you been? I told you I was having lunch with Jane Seymour. <laughs> Wow. That is Jane Seymour. Told you, told you. She looks scared to death. That's acting. Sometimes we do skits while we eat. Where was this? L.A. You drove all the way to L.A. to have lunch? It was my turn. <laughs> It was fine. I watched Pete cross-examine a witness who unfortunately was from Nantucket. <laughs> and then I had lunch with my parents. Really? Anything new with them? They say anything new about themselves that you didn't know before? Honey, what is going on? I'm keeping a secret from you, Greg. Oh, there it's at. I feel so much better. What secret? Again with the question. <laughs> Is it about Jane Seymour? No! Is it about us? No. <laughs> well, do you have a good reason for keeping the secret? 
Mm-hmm. Then it sounds like you're doing the right thing. What does that mean? I mean, I love you, and if you think you have something you can't tell me, then I trust your judgment. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's okay with you for us to keep secrets from each other? There's a good reason. Well, what would a good reason be? Well, that's usually part of the secret. I want to admit, so you could be keeping a secret from me right now? Well, if I was, I couldn't tell you now, could I? <laughs> Lucky to get a little O tonight, buddy. your little present. Huh? <laughs> Thought you could use it as a party tray, you know, for dip. <laughs> what you doing? Greg's got a secret. I'm looking for Greg's secret. I just got to find the box called Secrets. <laughs> it's a big stick. Thanks. <laughs> I'll save that bad boy for later. All right. Extra buttons. Extra button shirts. Extra button pants. God, buddy, buy a button! Abby, Jane, you better go over here. She's back to her old tricks. Yeah, straight sugar. Right out of the stick. <laughs> Dharma? How much sugar have you had? I can't talk, no. I gotta find Greg's secret. You've been up all night doing pixie sticks. Did you find any Pez paraphernalia? Barry, that's our daughter. I have to ask. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I gotta, I gotta find it. All right. You, brew me some chamomile tea strong. You, get me two aromatherapy candles, sandalwood, or eucalyptus. Dharma. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Dharma? That's the question I'd be asking myself. Dharma, why are you doing this? Thank you for asking. <laughs> I'm doing this because my marriage is in trouble with the capital T, which rhymes with pool, and I don't know how that could be. Dharma, Dharma, breathe with me, baby. Remember, a deep cleansing breath. Come on, one, let's do it in. And in. And exhale. <laughs> All right, help me get her up. Help me get her up. Stay with us, baby. Stay with us, baby. You know, this is your fault, Jane. She didn't need sugar before she met you. Hey, nobody put a gun to her head. <laughs> Come on, Dharma, talk to me. Good ship, lollipop. <laughs> Look what I found. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Oh, my God, that's Greg's secret. It's probably for tomorrow. Well, what's tomorrow, baby? Our half year anniversary. Really? How long have you guys been married? <laughs> Six months, Larry. You have your good days and your bad days, don't you? Sure. Which is this? Which is this what? Got it. See, Dharma, everything's okay. It's not because now Greg's gonna give it to me and I'm gonna have to tell him that I went through all of his stuff and found it already. Or you could just shut up and act surprised. I can't do that, Jane. That's worse than lying. That's... That's acting. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, God, what now? Okay, you've got to teach me how to act surprised so that my husband won't know that I went through all of his stuff. Tell me, my dear, is he a real husband or is he a husband like I'm your friend? <laughs> yeah, I, okay, I know I sound crazy, but I'm just really upset and I haven't eaten anything in the past 24 hours except for pixie sticks. <laughs> what is a pixie sticks? Paper tubes filled with sugar and artificial flavor. Really? Want to try one? <laughs> Come in.
after a dozen or so, you feel like you're riding a horse. <laughs> Let's get back to this. Now, I I'm, I'm your husband. Dharma, I have purchased something for hey, you. He wouldn't say purchased. Fine, fine. Dharma, I have acquired something for you. Acquired? Just, just do it. You... Dharma, this is for you. No, 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 no. That, that's, that's frightened, like seeing a ghost. No. Nope. Try seeing a necklace. What's frightening about seeing a ghost? All right. <laughs> but better still, just repeat after me. Oh, Gregory, that's absolutely magnificent. Oh, Gregory, that's absolutely magnificent. <laughs> not with the accent, you silly twit. I'm not using an accent. Yes, you are. Well, you started it. But I'm alive in English. <laughs> Your mineral water. Wow, mineral water! Isn't this what you ordered? Why did I seem surprised? <laughs> yes. Well, I wasn't. I was acting. I left LA to get away from you people. <laughs> Hi. Sorry I'm late. I had to uh, stop home and pick something up. Really? What? Well, do you know what today is? No! <laughs> It's our six-month anniversary, and I got you a little something. <laughs> What's this? Open it up. A pasta maker. <laughs> So you don't have to keep borrowing the one from my parents. Well, pasta maker. Open it up. I think you'll like the instructions. <laughs> what could this be? Stay back. All clear. <laughs> Boy, I don't know if these things are worth the convenience. Larry, I told you a million times the microwave isn't going to hurt you. Yeah, well, better safe than sterile. <laughs> Is Abby around? I need to talk to her. She's out. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I really need to talk to Abby. You know, honey, when you have problems, you can always talk to me, too. I know. Thank you. Did she mention when she was coming back? Probably. <laughs> Is this about Greg? Did he give you the necklace? No, he gave me this bracelet. I think he got the necklace for somebody else. Oh, no, honey. There are probably a million logical explanations. Like what? Like, uh, maybe he bought it for himself. <laughs> maybe he enjoys wearing women's jewelry. Larry! I didn't say clothing. I said jewelry. <laughs> or, or, or maybe it was the only way he could prove he was on the Titanic. <laughs> You're right. There are lots of explanations. So, you feel better, Pumpkin? Yeah. Thank you. Now, think really hard, Larry. When's Abby coming home? <laughs> well, thanks for calling, Larry. I was worried about her. No, no, I, no I'm, I'm pretty sure you called me. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, she's walking in right now. No, no, no. She's walking in here. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Bye. Okay. I'm just going to come out and say it. I found the necklace. What necklace? The pearl necklace. The pearl... You were going through my stuff? What were you doing going through my stuff? This isn't about...
about me. This is about you. What's the deal with the necklace? It's for you. Uh, what, for next Christmas or uh, something? Probably, or Valentine's Day. Oh, you expect me to believe that you buy gifts a year in advance? I, I do. Oh, God, you do. <laughs> of course you do. That's exactly what you do. Dude, I suck. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, like, you know when you accidentally hit a guy in a crosswalk? Sorry, like, so sorry. <laughs> I forgive you. Really? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Craig, the secret's driving me crazy. Look, why don't you just tell me what it is? Because I promise not to say anything. All right, well, how about this? How about we play charades and I guess? That's good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really good at charades. Yeah, you think you're good. What do you see me? Okay. Go! Okay. Four words. Me. My. 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 My bird, my, uh, my, 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 my eagle, my, 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 my pigeon, my, uh, my, my, my left foot, my pirate, my p Pirates of Penzance. Oh, Dharma, did you scratch my Pirates of Penzance album? <laughs> ants, a uh, pair of ants, uh, 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 a pair of ants, a pair of ants, a pair of ants. Arsenic and old lace, yes! <laughs> No! <laughs> egg, eggy, eggy, eggs, egg white, egg white, egg yolks, yolks, uh, my yolk, uh, my yolks are separated, my yolks are separated! Find out the secret. You know I like my omelets without the cholesterol? <laughs> You're in pain. You're in pain, you're tired, uh, you're at a pillow. Uh, uh, uh. Broke up, broke up, how hot is that? Wow, you are so good. You're coming with me to San Francisco. I can't, I got a show to do. It's your turn. <laughs> understood that whole groom can't see the bride in her wedding dress. <laughs> Not only can I see you, you look unbelievable. Hey, I uh, got you a little something. Oh, you shouldn't have. What is it? Sit. Oh, good boy. But mommy's getting the treat, okay? <laughs> Dharma, running off and getting married the day we met was the craziest, most brilliant, truest moment of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you get me? What'd you get me? What'd you get me? Will you let me finish? <laughs> Dharma Finkelstein, will you please marry me again, this time in a big, obnoxious gala organized by my mother? Oh, my God. Okay. Now, don't freak out. It's not about materialism. I mean, it's just a symbol of my love. And it's a honker! <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love you. Mm. Love you too. You ever done it with a bride? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Go away. Gregory, it's your mother. It's not enough. She does this in my dreams. <laughs> Come in. What are you doing here? You can't see her in her dress. See, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, that's enough, that's enough. Come on, Dharma, we have to do your hair, your makeup, your nails. Oh, I did that already, see? Yes, well, humor me. <laughs> Bye, Green. Bye, Bride. Oh, please, cut the lovey-dovey crap. We have a wedding to put up. <laughs>
are you doing? Dharma, well, uh, do you understand that we have only two hours to do everybody's hair and makeup, locate the cake, figure out how to do a champagne toast for 150 guests with only two cases of champagne, 12 bottles in each case? Oh, man, I hate word problems. <laughs> oh, no. Edward was supposed to take this down to the groomsmen. I can't ask him to do one thing, not even... Oh, here. Would you take this box of boutonnieres to the men? Hey, I'm not your gopher. I'm the maid of honor. Well, try thinking less honor, more maid. It's great for me. Now, my dear, please cooperate with me. I am trying to make this a day that you will never forget. Can I go to the bathroom? No. That'll do it. Hi, honey. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Thunder only happens when it's raining. <laughs> This is Mrs. Montgomery. Yes, I just I just passed the hors d'oeuvre tray and there's still no deviled eggs. Donde los huevos el diablo. Dharma. Want you to have this. It's the fertility goddess that presided over your conception. Thank you, Abby. You're gonna have to fight your way through two forms of birth control, my little friend. <laughs> Yes, I'll be right there. Dharma, please. The chair. Thank you. Kitty! I... No. You and I have an important job to do today. Well, I have several important jobs to do. Right now, I have to go down to the kitchen and lay three dozen eggs. I know, I know, I know, I know. But if you could just spare a moment. I just thought this would be a nice time for you and I to give some wisdom to Dharma, you know, because we are the elder women of the tribe. We are? We're the grizzled old she-wolves of the pack. Ah, much better. Dama, I have a little wisdom for you. Right now your life is filled with love, and that is a wonderful thing, a great thing. But that lasts about a year, 18 months, tops. So I would join some clubs. <laughs> Excuse me. I think she has some issues. <laughs> Okay, Durham. When a man and a woman come together, it's like two streams joining to become a mighty river of love that flows endlessly to empty into the cosmic ocean. Oh, God, now I really have to go to the bathroom. It's a nice dress. It burns my flesh. You can feel the heat. Where are you going? I think I'm going to score with the freaky chick. <laughs> I keep feeling like there's something I should be doing. Gregory, relax. You're supposed to feel useless on your wedding day. It prepares you for the rest of your married life. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. That's nice. I hope that's part of your toast. I got to tell you, Greg, your old man has a point. That's why Abby and I never got married. Too stifling. It becomes all about roles. Oh, admit it, Finkelstein. Your roles are in the same ringer as the rest of us. <laughs> Not true. I've got a lot of freedom in my relationship. Can you sleep with other women? No. <laughs> you have to call home when you're late. Well, I try never to be late. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> gin! That's what I need, a case of gin. <laughs> all right, that's... 22 bucks you owe me. I'll be right back. I, uh, allow Abby to carry the money. <laughs> All right. Easy now. There we go. Up. Good. Huh. Yeah. Oh, my God, I can see my house from up here. <laughs> Very amusing. And now walk towards me. That's a girl. Very good. Up, up, up. Good, good, good. All right, now the uh, headpiece. Okay, but my shoes are pinching me. Of course they are. They're Italian. Uh, oh, that is perfect. Um, it's, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, kitty, kitty, yeah. it's piercing my brain. That's good. Won't fall off. Oh, Lord, what is that stench? I'm burning sage to cleanse the room of evil spirits. Well, I will uh, open the window and let the little devils out. Ladies? Oh. 
Oh, no. What are you wearing? Aqua velva. Too much? <laughs> that is not a rose. That is a carnation. What's wrong with a carnation? Nothing, if it's on an Appalachian prom dress. <laughs> Come here. Let's all take a moment and hold hands and get nice and centered. Oh, good, because I really need you guys right now. Oh, we're here for you, baby. We're here for you. All right, we're going to close our eyes and focus all our energy on Dharma. Abby, I need $22. <laughs> Why? I don't need your permission. I just need $22. And we're sending all the energy to Dharma. <laughs> Larry, did you eat meat? No. You ate meat? I can smell it. That's my tongue. It's made of meat. <laughs> Either one of you, just a little energy my way. All right. <laughs> it's okay if you ate meat, Larry. I just want you to understand it makes you belligerent. And now we're sucking the energy out of Dharma. No, what makes me belligerent is your veggier than thou attitude. Good luck with your meat fight. Son, can I give you some advice? Yeah, that would mean a lot to me, Dad. Put the four over here on top and then you can move the king back here. Take off those ridiculous boutonnieres. Edward Checkbook. Why? Because there's a problem. I'm throwing money at it. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? No, darling. You have enough to do. Right. I haven't wound my watch out here yet. Look. Look at these. They're awful. Kitty, they're just flowers. Nobody cares. And by nobody, you mean you. Yes. Well, let me tell you something, Edward. Everybody cares. And by everybody, I mean me. <laughs> I care, Edward. That is my job in this family. I care. I care at every Christmas dinner. I, I care at every business function. I care every time that maid puts a meal down in front of you. And for some reason or other, you don't seem to notice. All right. All right. Here's the checkbook. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Edward. I will tuck this away in the gaping void that was once my soul. <laughs> Don't lose the pen this time. <laughs> Hi, stranger. How's it going? Great. Couldn't be better. Oh, I know. Me too. I'm having such a wonderful time. Can we go home now? Gregory? Ah, oh, quick. In here. It's the Queen of Pain. You know, I thought I was the only one who called her that. <sighs> Greg, this is unbelievable, okay? Now I know why people elope. Dharma, we eloped. I guess we're just a couple of overdressed idiots then, huh? It's almost over. It hasn't even started yet. <laughs> Why can't we just leave? Because we'd never be able to face these people again. Aw, you promise? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go back. It'll get better, I swear. Dharma! Ah! Oh, God, it's her. Oh, God, if she finds out I'm in here, there's no telling what she'll stick in my head. Okay, quick. Make a break for it. This meeting never happened. You don't know me. Vaya con Dios. Chili con queso. <laughs> They're gone. Well, where were we? I don't know where you were, but I'm done. Thanks. See ya. What? What do you mean you're done? Done? As in give me my shoes and point me toward the door? Okay, now all I need is my shoes. So I said, come on, you're killing me. Huh? It's the bride that's supposed to have something blue. Pete, in the closet? My coat's in there.
Just one dog face, boy, short of a freak show. That's why I said best man. You're not even the best man in this closet. Ha ha, funny story. Go tell Greg. I'm telling you, I did not know they were meat. Can we not do this now? Okay, I'm sorry, honey. You honestly thought the waiter was offering you figs in a blanket. <laughs> Your mother attributes everything I say and do to what I eat and how I breathe and the phases of the moon. Fine, Larry, you're the exception. Hi. Hi. Quick, create a diversion while I slip down through this dress and tunnel out of here. My friends, we come together today to celebrate the joyous union of Dharma, Freedom, Finkelstein, and Gregory Clifford Montgomery. Clifford? I didn't know your middle name was Clifford. A wedding invites us all to share in the boundless happiness of love. Clifford. We come together not simply to witness the union of Gregory and Dharma, but to strengthen it by our example. So I would like to invite, at this time, all the couples among us to share quietly a heartfelt expression of their love for each other. You're eating God's creatures. Well, then he shouldn't have made them so tasty. <laughs> what? I said I want a divorce. <laughs> And she thought I was going to screw this up. <laughs> I can't believe you did this at our wedding. Greg, you can't ask them to ignore their feelings. Why not? They've been doing it for 30 years. You couldn't hold out one more day? Let's everybody squeeze up nice and close and happy family. Come on, Edward. Maybe it'd be helpful if you just gave Kitty one reason why the two of you should stay together. Dharma, let's drop it. Uh -uh. Come on, Edward. One reason the two of you should not get a divorce. I'd lose my shirt. <laughs> OK, let's drop it. Now. Ooh, big smile. Hey, Abby, know what the secret ingredient in my vegetarian chili is? Moo. And so happy. All right, everyone, let's welcome the newlyweds to the dance floor for their first dance as man and wife, Donna and Craig. God's already means us. Uh, I never thought hell would be catered. Come on. Donna wants somebody to love. Donna needs somebody to love. It's Dharma. It's actually don't you? Body to love. We should all find some. Remind me again why we had this party. To make all these people happy. Look, Abby, white sugar. Refined white sugar. Mmm. All I'm saying is I'm a person. You know, I have needs. You're not even going to let me finish a sentence, are you? 30 years, Edward, and you've never noticed one damn thing. Quick, what color are my eyes? Hmm? Lovely. No. Well, they look happy to me. Then our job here is done. Absolutely the last time I'm gonna marry you. you know, someday our parents will be gone, 
And we'll look back on this day and not miss them so much. <laughs> that is a terrible thing to say. Say it again. It's scary. 30 years ago, my mother and father stood in front of the minister and said the exact same words we just did. And look at them. That won't happen to us. I, Dharma Freedom Finkelstein, promise to never ever become my mother. Or my mother. Like that's possible. <laughs> I, Gregory, not saying the middle name Montgomery, promise that I will not bottle up my feelings for 30 years and spew them like a volcano at our children's wedding. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you. Okay. I promise to always let you be you and me be me. Thank you. As long as every now and then we get to get naked and switch. Uh, okay. <laughs> And do you promise to always look at me with that light in your eyes? And he promised to always brush my hair off my face like that. Yes. And kiss me like that. And make me feel like the luckiest man in the world. Yeah. The maid of honor cuts the cake. The maid of honor cuts the cake. We don't know where the bride is, so that's who cuts the cake. <laughs> Abby. I'm not watching you eat another meatball, Larry. I don't feel good. Come on, let's go find the kitchen. I'll make you some peppermint tea. With a little cake? No cake. No cake. <laughs> Kitty? Oh, you were right, Edward. Nobody cares. Bride and groom have left the wedding. The ice swan looks like a fat cobra with a beak. Some pierced gentleman named Turk is bobbing for bridesmaids in the reflecting pool. But this wedding cake you selected is wonderful. No, Edward. Thank you for noticing. However, this is a wedge of brie. <laughs> You're drunk, aren't you? That's what the gals in the ladies' room said. <laughs> oh, come on, Edward. Let's dance. You got it, green eyes. <laughs> They're blue, Edward. 